Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series on theories of truth entitled You Can't Handle the Truth. In this video, we're going to be starting a new mini-series within this larger series entitled Alfred Tarski's Theory of Truth. Tarski was a very important, influential philosopher in theories of truth and in the realm of truth, so we're going to take some time and do some separate shorter videos on Alfred Tarski. In this first video, we're just going to talk a little bit about what that scope of videos is going to look like, give a bit of an introduction, and answer the question, who was Alfred Tarski? So, first off, let's go to our main question, who was Alfred Tarski? Well, he was a Polish mathematician, logician, and philosopher. He is one of the greatest logicians of the last century, arguably second only to Gödel in the work that he did, um, and he did some revolutionary work in the areas of formal languages, truth, logical consequence, and logical constants. We're not going to be talking that much or at all about his work in logical consequence and logical constants, but we are going to be delving into some of his work on formal languages and trying to talk as much as we can about his work on truth. That's the name of the series. So, first off, not in this video, but in a following video, we're going to be talking a little bit about formal languages. What is a formal language, really, and how does it apply to theories of truth, and particularly Tarski's theory? So, Tarski's theory of truth only works for specific types of formal language, which must have a meta-language to explain the syntax of the object language. Don't worry if that didn't make sense. We're going to do another video coming up very soon on formal languages. A central part of Tarski's theory of truth is something known as Convention T. Tarski basically created a specific convention of what defines a truth predicate based on how specific statements in the meta-language interact with corresponding statements in the object language. Once again, if you didn't understand all of that, don't worry. In these videos, we're going to go much more into depth on these ideas. For now, we're just kind of giving a general scope of where we're going to be going. Then we're going to talk about the liar paradox and its interaction with Tarski. Tarski, importantly, has a solution that does work for certain kinds of the liar's paradox in certain types of languages. However, he does not have a way to solve all of the liar's paradoxes, and he doesn't have a way to solve those liar's paradoxes for all languages. It's an important point that's going to play into my kind of liar's revenge paradox challenge that I still have a couple videos to respond to. And finally, we're going to talk about Tarski and indefinability. We're going to talk a little bit about Tarski's proof that truth is indefinable for any language that's sufficiently complicated to contain its own meta-language. Basically, this is kind of going to be a parallel of Gödel's incompleteness theorems, but instead of completeness and algebraic logic, we're going to be talking about definability of truth and languages and meta-languages. Okay? So, that was a basic idea of who was Alfred Tarski. Next up, we're going to talk about what a formal language is, then Convention T, followed by Tarski and the Liar Paradox, and finally, the indefinability of truth, at which point we're going to get back into our main series on You Can't Handle the Truth. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.